Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today you ask, Dill, what's Lomo Potsdam? Do you care? Does it matter? No, I don't. And no, it doesn't. But you might. So let's find out. You know the drill. You look at my photos before I tell you something that we could all just look up ourselves. Cool? Cool. Same four categories as always. Four categories as always. Look, I lost a fair amount of contrast because uh, I underexposed a lot because I'm a chronic underexposer, as I say. Um, so I had to pull them pretty hard in post to get what I wanted. Um, it held up pretty well, but I did lose a lot of contrast. Either way, it's still a very contrasty film that I enjoy, so I'm gonna go with 7.5 stars. What more do you want? I, like, I don't know. It's fine. It's good. It's not bad. Five of them. Five of the old stars. Okay, well, bye. bye. <laughs> Nothing to argue here. Nothing to argue here at all. Six stars. Six of them. Another surprise for me. I actually quite enjoy it. Seven stars. Shit. Eight stars. It starts, my bad. You know, can't win them all. Can't win them all. Yeah, okay. Well, before I show you how it ranks up to the rest of the films that I have reviewed, which you should go watch, by the way. If you haven't watched all the rest of the reviews, please go watch the reviews. Thanks, that'd be great. I want to talk about it first because... Is it really Lomo? Is it really? You know, I asked at the beginning of the film, what is Kino? Actually, no, I didn't. That's just the thumbnail. Well, either way. It is OROUN54. OROUN54. Yeah, that's correct. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's what it is. It's by a German company, Filmotech. Filmotech? Uh, yeah, that sounds... Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Filmotech. Um, the reason I bring it up before I show you the list is because there's a lot of other films on the market that are also OROUN54 which is, I believe, a cinema film. That's why it's so contrasty. You could probably even get more contrast out of it if you used a different developer other than D76, probably like a more cinema-based one. I digress, sorry, it doesn't really matter to you guys right now. But yeah, so when I get to those film stocks, if I get to those film stocks, I'm gonna review them separately, and then I'll take an average of those, which you'd think would be the same, but you know, I'm kind of crazy, so who knows what I'm feeling that day. And then I'll have an average of those for the score of Oro 54. Got it? Cool, 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 cool. I don't really have any favorites, to be honest with you guys. It's kind of just, I don't know. There's ones I like, but uh, Nothing I love, nothing to write home about, you know? Mostly because I am home, so like, would I send it to myself? I've drank way too much coffee and it's way too late in the day for this. 
Um, yeah. Sorry that, I, I don't know what camera to look at. I get confused, no, I used to. Who knows? Um, sorry I missed yesterday, Wednesday, depending on when you're watching this, but I needed to get ahead of myself a little bit so I could actually do the three episodes a week. Yeah, you'll see this Friday morning and then I'll see you on Monday morning. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Brain is going nuts right now. Don't drink that. You don't need that. Um, that's all I got. That's all I got. Thanks. Love you. Bye. are embarrassed that I use them on camera. I know I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Fucking hell.